Ah, so peaceful in this town. Hello, my best of hound friends and ladies. Welcome back to some more under Roth. Or should I say Eli Roth? Hostel is one of my favorite movies. But I'll discuss that for another time. But anyway, I'm back to the Roth. Um, before I begin, guys, um, I couldn't use this recorder for some reason because um, I was complaining about the Google support and stuff that this recorder is not popping up on the screen where I need to record and stuff. You guys know. And I got pissed about it um, the other night, so I thought I couldn't record last night. You guys, if you guys don't know, I got really pissed about it and stuff. But that's all resolved. I figured it out. I had to change my internet settings. So that's what happened, guys. So I'm relieved from that now. So let bygones be bygones. So anyway, we're coming back to this. Uh, the mission we had before... Someone told me in the comments, um, I didn't finish the conversation of that, um, shoe mission and all that good stuff. Oh, that's how you tell me where to go. Okay. This map is so useful right now. You can place, oh, maybe just like in Skyrim. I see my brother played the original Skyrim before. Don't ask. All right. Now, I guess I'm supposed to go back to that one person. To finish the conversation with. Did I see a bag of money? Oh, that was just, um, just beat up logs. Anyway, I'm supposed to look for that one person to finish the conversation with. I think it's not this way, I think. It's not that way, it's this way. Okay, now. Hi, little kid. <laughs> I love messing with the kid. All right, anyway. Where was he again? To have a conversation with. Where'd you go? Sir? Skull and Bones. I'm trying to find where he is. Oh, he's further. If I take the path. Wait, where am I going? That's not the way I go. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I'm supposed to go to... How do I freaking sprint in this game? I would love to know. I guess there's no sprinting in this game, huh? Anyway, I'll go back. I think it's this way. That way I can actually get the side mission from that guy. I think it's this way, right? I think so. Then I have to turn right. Turn right. Right? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Glad I have a map. All right, let's go find this one person. There he is. I've been looking for you. I have a bone to pick with you. Hello, sir. Sir. Okay. Okay, so... Traveler, hello. I think I've read this before. So, I might be lost. Town guard. I'm trying to get that mission. I think I've already read this before. You guys can read it and pause it if you want. If you didn't read it from my last previous video. Ha, the only town guard you're not permitted to carry on weapon. Um, no, this one, mm -hmm. I'm trying to find that one side mission, I guess, um, you can kill the, 
your your real friend. You can give her fifty gold pieces. The rest of my sisters. Oh, okay. I had to finish the conversation. I'm gonna say deal. Now I got the quest. Thank you, comment. Thank you who comments it. Thank you. Now I've got the side mission. <laughs> All right. How much gold do I have? Uh, off of curiosity. Where's my gold? I. F oh my god! I forgot how much I had. Oh, I have twelve gold. Damn. All right, I guess I have to get more gold to do the, do that stuff, so. I'm going to have to find more gold. Hello, mage. I was wondering if you can use um, magic stuff. That would be awesome. Anyway. What was my side mission? Find at the monastery at the Abbot El Elric. The eastern gate north... Starting at Caspa, I'm supposed to leave through the Eastern Gate to north. Let me look at the map. North. I'm trying to figure out the map. Okay. Um, Monastery. I just needed a name. Cospin. Cospin. So I'm supposed to follow north here. North is that way? Okay, so I have to make a trip there. This is going to be a long trip. So I'm supposed to go north. Sounds good for me. So let's read the sign here. La po oh, okay. Let's go north. We're on our way to the monastery. We guess I have to follow the path. I'm on my way. I hear barking dog. Oh, great. You fuckers. You killed me last time. Should I get gold off you? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Come here. Hey, you. Some kind of weird bug thing. Haha. -ha. Alright, hope. Thought I heard something. That's weird. Anyway, let's go north. So I'm supposed to find the monastery. Sup, crows. Oh. North of here. Can you collect these roses? No. That was so weird. Hmm. What? Who's saying that? I'm hearing voices. I have a sword, though. I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> I like the sound effect, though. Uh... Oh, dude, is this it? Monastery? Cool. Wait, 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 kid. Get back here. I want to talk to you. Okay. See what you have to say, little kid. Your name is Keelan. Are you a knight? My name's Keelan. Hello, young one. I am no knight. Why do you think so? You have a weapon and armor, and look the look tough. That's what knights are like. Don't worry. If you're a knight, I won't tell anyone your secret. Well, then I guess I must be a knight, young Keeling. Aha! I knew it. I won't tell anybody your secret. What are you doing here in Lapolian? Are you on secret orders of the king? 
Can I be your squire? No, young one. Just passing through, boy. I've got to keep moving. Goodbye. I'm going to say no, no, young one, but perhaps you could tell a knight like me what to do around here in Lapolian. Okay. Well, most of the Lapolians is very boring. Just some shops and, and inns and, bunch, and a bunch of adults. They never tell me anything exciting, so I stay here but the entrance to listen to what knights are talking about. And learn all their secrets. Lots of people come here to find an old man, Gradwin. Well, what a wise young invest, invest dropper. So, what makes this Gradwin so important? Gradwin, he's our alchemist. That means he can make magic potions that heal your cuts and bruises. But bet you didn't know that. Cradwin lives in a big house near the well. My mother and father say I shouldn't bother an old mysterious man like him. But he's so nice, and he knows even more secrets than I do. Thank you and all that stuff. I forgot to read that. You can pause and read what that said. So, I'm trying to look for that one place. Hmm. Let's check out these shops here. What do we got here? Colorful mix. What's that? What do you have to sell, miss? What are these? Empty flask. Empty and clean. Useful for brewing potions. Oh, dude! Healing potions! And they cost 96 coins? What a ripoff! Strength potion. Okay. That's expensive, too. Well, fuck you, then. I'm out. Ugh. I have to make a lot more money. I haven't even leveled up once yet. What's this statue? Someone died here. Huh. You're not going to give me a description? The ping pong's best. What do you have, sir? Oh, you have the best armor in here. Okay, he has the best armor. So, what's this one? Leon Lenolds? Hello. Oh. Might as well read what he says. Lenold. Welcome to Lenolds, the best inn in town. What can I do for you? Isn't it the only inn here in Lapolian? Well, yes, that's true. Used to be more, but mine's the only one that didn't close down. Lenold's Inn is a real thing. Back when Naroth was a richer, bruiser place. Our king would stay here on his visits. Things have changed a lot since then. When times got tougher, the king sold our town's wall to help afford keeping some places open. Doesn't bother me. I like this and I'm impressed. <laughs> no, I don't want to say that. What honor is too bad money Rain th ran thin like that? What caused such a change? Naroth it lost its plentiful gold, and its magical water source mysteriously, mysteriously dried up. The house where Gradwin no live, now lives was owned then by the Magic Guild. Mages Guild, sorry. The king once spent his visiting nights there. Later on, the Mages Guild sold the Nordic. Nordic? I'm going to say Nordic guild building i th i then bought this house and built it built it up to be an inn for travelers to lapolian so you aren't always an innkeeper no i was once an adventurer like you but but then you took an arrow to the knee 
Oh, wow. What? How could you that even happen, you fool? No, I was facing a werewolf in the valley north of Noroth, and suddenly I was panic panicked. I wanted to fight, but I just froze completely. Luckily, the werewolf thought I was dead and no longer saw me as a threat. But why did I freeze up? Why couldn't I fight? I fight it. Later, I went hunting for gold in the mines of Napoleon. When I measly Europei came round a corner, I seized up yet again. Unable to face it, I threw my weapon and ran out of the mines in fear. Why? I think about it almost daily. Why do I suddenly feel flee all dangers? And why did I leave my beloved sword down in the mines? I'm too afraid to go and get it now. Hmm, I guess there's no going back to any of it now. Maybe it's for the best. No, I don't think it is. Well, I don't want to go. I don't want to complain. The, the life of an innkeeper isn't all bad sometimes, though I miss the adventure. The feel th that I have no routine. The uneasiness of euphoria of discovering something new and making my own present moment. I don't even have anything to remind me of those days. My long trusted my long trusted sword is rotting away down in a mine because of some pitiful creature. I was too scared to fight. What a shame. What a waste. Wouldn't it help if I took a look in the mine? Maybe I could help you recover the sword if it's not too late. Or, I get over yourself, Linol. <laughs> You've simply matured. You don't need your past any longer. You're just having trouble grow growing older. I've got my own issues to deal with. Goodbye. I'll go with the first one. Maybe he'll give me a quest. You mean th in the mines? Of course. Why hadn't I thought of that myself? Protect I'd paid handsomely if you could manage to find the sword down there. I know I dropped it close to the entrance of the mine, so if you could at least get that far, I bet you'd have enough of a chance. If you find it, please bring it back to me quickly. Got it. I'll head there soon and have a look. Got another quest. Please make quick work f of your search. I will return as soon as I can. Whew, that was a long conversation. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. So, I have another quest by him. So what do we have this time? The short sword. Okay. Oh, let me move my camera. Sorry, guys. Anyway, let's go in here. What do you have, sir? You have good weapons in here, too, so that's good to know. Oh, hello. Any interesting conversations, ma'am? Okay. I know there's a lot of talking in this episode. Her name is Gitel, out of all names. Yes, I have no time to talk traveler. I have to do all the work around this house, and I just can't keep... Up. It doesn't help that my son won't listen to a word I say, and my husband won't keep him in line. In fact, my husband doesn't do much of anything anymore. I'm sorry. I know this is not your problem, but, well, it's just, it just feels good to tell someone, I guess. I just need an opinion on what to do. Witton, my husband, he's just not the same man as the one I fell in love with. It sounds like your family has fallen apart. I would be in despair, too. If he 
won't help you with any of the work. Maybe I could. Complaining and moaning, what do you any good for for a, a failing marriage? And it won't do any good to keep my attentions either. Goodbye. I'll go with the first one. Let's see. Well then, traveler, you seem nice enough. I'm Gatel. And you may have seen my son, Keelan. I have. Wandering around and playing make-believe. My disappointing husband sits in the house, and I work so hard to keep standing. Damn. Must be a hard-ass relationship, lady. So, if I, if you really want to help me, you talk some sense into him and leave him to get my work done. Very well, Gatel. Oh, there's no other options. Very well, Gatel. Maybe I'll speak to him. Meanwhile, don't you think you're a bit obsessed with getting things done? Are you sure you aren't just keeping yourself busy for no reason? All right, let's go speak to your husband, shall we? Let's do it. Hello, husband. Okay, anyway. Witten, hello. I don't suppose my wife sent you to talk to me. Is that why you're here? Well, not really. I just wanted to say hello. How many options? Can't a traveler come to meet the people of town? Don't be so paranoid. I'm going to say the second one. No. I'm going to say your wife. I didn't know you had a wife. Of course not. I don't know. Third one? I'm going to say third one. Oh, forget it. I'm just imaging things. I think you see my wife, Gatel, is complaining about me to everyone. A man needs a, his privacy. <laughs> Asshole. And if it's And if she's not happy, why can't she just talk to me about it? I can't do anything right. It seems. I'm scared to say anything around her. Are, are you sure she's so out to get you? Sometimes lovers are unhappy and try to ask others for help fixing relationships. Hmm, this sounds like a problem for you. Then, then again, you seem very anxious. Maybe you are simply jumping to conclusion about her. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want to get between you, a man, and his upset wife. Goodbye. I'll go with this one. Let's see what he re reacts to. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just things have changed. I once had such high ambition. I was working hard and being a romantic husband. I was reliable father who took our son, Keelan, on many adventures in the court in the courtside and now i just can't find excitement in any of these things sorry i got an itchy freaking nose now my son plays outside by himself and my wife is unhappy complaining about me to everyone it is unfair oh where are my manners the name is witten by the way green good to meet you it sounds like you're depressed, Witten. Have you forgotten your dreams, what made you feel alive and in love? And where has it gone? You should do something to get it back. I'm sorry, sir, but I have family troubles of my own. No, I don't want to say that. I'm going to try this one. Sorry, I got an itchy freaking nose for no freaking reason. I'm planning on doing... I'm planning to do something... All right. I know how to get get it all back. I ran into a wandering mystic outside the city. He offered me a magic potion from his bag. Says it can change how people see things. I just need Gatel to drink it, and she'll be happy. With me again, I might even drink some myself. If it works, I just need to keep buying more when we run out. We can finally be a loving, 
happy family again. That is, once I recover the potion. You see, I stumbled on some giant snakes trying to attack me, and I dropped a bag with a potion while I was running away from those slithering monsters. My whole family is still unhappy because of those those damn snakes. I need that potion. Hmm, I guess that's one way to try to win the love of your family back. I won't judge you. How much is this potion worth to you? I deal with the snakes for the right price. Snakes, I could tear them easily. In fact, why don't you let me... It gives me a chance to improve in battle. And you... And you two... Fix your family problems. What do you say? You fool. <laughs> you fool buying snakes oil to fix your broken family. It's only ironic that snakes ruin your shallow plan. I won't help you medicate your family into your loving you. Goodbye. Um, Let's go with the first one. I say it's a deal. Traveler, 150 gold pieces should make sure that potion finds its way back to me. If you know what I mean, just don't speak of this with Gatel or my boy Keelan. I just want to be the man they can rely on once again. Keep the potion hidden and move quickly. 150 gold pieces for that? I can get that potion back to you, Witten. Where do I find it? And the snakes? That's your price for help to your seduce your family? Seduce your family into loving you? Why don't you use the that money for consoling instead you are unhappy soul? Goodbye. Let's say this one. Cool, I got a new quest. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I could cry. Ah, oh, come on. It means so much to me. I just want to be a good man again. I want to be proud of myself. I want them to look up to me. The snakes jumped out at me north of Lapoleon, coming down from the mountains. I was running down a small hill when the bag f fell to the ground. I wasn't about to turn around to get it with venomous snakes after me get the potion and bring it to me secretly and the 150 gold pieces are yours cool my friend now get out get out of here before my family knows anything strange i'm trying to build their trust right trust off i go then whew a lot of dialogue guys so I got a quest from him to find that bag where the potion is. So secretly to hide from Gretel, Gretel here. I'll search one more house and I'll be done. I guess I'll talk to one more person and I'll end the video. Ooh, Medea. Interesting name. Brom, you've come back to me. I missed you so. Wait, you aren't Borom. <laughs> Who are you, and why are you here? No, I'm not Borum. I'm not Borum. I was just looking around Napoleon. It is, is it a bad time? I don't want to disturb you. I'll be going. I'll say this one. Medea says, Yes, uh, n no, I... Oh, I don't want... I don't know I'm so concerned about my fiancé. I thought he... He has finally returned when you open that door. And he must be... Biram? Okay. Yes, I am Medea. We've been fighting and finally he just ran off. He has anger issues and leaves for a few hours when he is heated. <clears throat> what worries me is that he's been gone for days. I'm afraid something happened to him, but at the same time, I don't even want to see him. 
but I do. Oh, I wish he would just come here, come home. If I went to search for him, he'd probably come back and find me gone, and things wouldn't only be worse. I don't want to leave him. I want to work things out. What would you do? I'd say you stay. I. I'd say you should stay here and continue to be patient. He's tempered, should cool. And if he's, if he was in danger, I bet something would happen, would help him. If I were you, I'd ask him to go out and look for him while I stay here. I don't want to get involved with this. I need to, okay. Let's go with this one. But what if he went off somewhere far and no one could help him? Or what if he finally left me for good? But you're right. I can't leave or he might think I left him. We must stay together. I love him. All right, Medea. You're making me sad. Just wait here and I'll go look for him out there. You wouldn't, would you? Would you really? Oh, I love that. I love Biram. <laughs> I need him back with me. But why would you do that for me? I have nothing to give, and you have better things to do. I'm traveling all over Naroth on my quest to find my long-lost father. I'm sure it won't be out of the way to look for Barum and speak with him in the meantime. Sweet, I got a quest for it too. All right. Well, if you really want to, I love you for that. Wait, you're hitting on me, girl? Find my beautiful Barum. He has short hair, dark hair. And as the uh, mines below, he was wearing his favorite green pants. Oh, maybe I'll recognize him. Mines below. Oh, and I think it was a light shirt with, with them. If you find him, please, please tell him to come home to his Medea. I miss him. I'm so worried. Sure, will do. And if he um, doesn't want to return... Tell him I will do anything. I'll find a solution. I know he is fed up with me, but I am willing to play nicely. Why are men so stubborn about things like this? It's so annoying and stressful. Men are stubborn about things like that. All right, with your nagging, just let me leave and I could get things done much quickly. Goodbye. Yeah, this one. Jesus Christ. You you really care. You really listen if you if only Biram would. Well, it started over our outhouse. I try to keep it nice because I want to because I want a nice place to go. And he keeps leaving it dirty. It's my only place of privacy and time for myself. I don't want it to be dirted by my lover. Why can't men just sit down to pee? <laughs> and if they have to stand, then why don't they aim a little bit? <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Um, I'm sorry. Too much information. <laughs> oh, God, that makes me laugh throughout the whole video to me. It's just frustrates me but tell him and tell him I have a plan that will fix the problem between us I don't want to lose my B room well being a good listener certainly has its benefits I understand the issue now I'll find Burham and tell him to hear you out Whew. that's a lot of reading guys I heard a snake Anyway, guys, it's, uh, 
long derivative dialogue talking throughout the video, but I'm going to end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the dialogue and the characters and stuff. And I have a lot of quests to go through to find it. I really want to find that potion, though. He'll give me 150 gold for it. And all that good stuff. I love the hell out of this game, guys. I really do. Anyway. <laughs> it was a funny-ass conversation at the end. It's, it's perfect to end it. Anyway. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified of my next video and comment or like about this. And, most importantly, share this video so I get more views and subscribers. And I will see you best friends and ladies on my next video. Seizure later.